Today we're going to show you how to make some tasty treats from all your pumpkin carving efforts. To begin, we will show you our recipe for salty, sweet, roasted pumpkin seeds. You will need the bowl of dirty pumpkin seeds from your carving, a colander, a slotted spoon, brown sugar, granulated sugar, cinnamon, nutmeg, sea salt, cayenne pepper, butter, a mixing bowl, and a baking sheet. Transfer the dirty seeds into the colander and rinse to separate the seeds from the goop. Place the seeds in a medium saucepan of salted water. Bring the salted water and pumpkin seeds to a boil. Let simmer for 10 minutes, remove from heat, and drain. While the seeds drain, you can make your coating. For the coating, you will need one quarter cup brown sugar, two tablespoons granulated sugar, one half tablespoon cinnamon, one half tablespoon nutmeg, a pinch or two of sea salt, a dash of cayenne pepper, and two tablespoons of melted butter. Add all of the ingredients to the bowl and mix well to combine them evenly. Add your rinsed pumpkin seeds and mix until completely coated. With the slotted spoon, scoop the seeds and spread evenly on your roasting pans. Bake on the top rack of the oven until the seeds begin to brown, 5 to 20 minutes, depending on the size of the seeds. When lightly browned, remove the pan from the oven and let them cool. Now your seeds should be ready to eat. Scoop them, serve them, and enjoy! Next, we are going to show you how to transform your Halloween jack-o'-lantern into your Thanksgiving pie. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Carefully take your jack-o'-lantern and cut it into manageable pieces. Remove the stem and center core. Place your cut pieces on roasting pans or cookie sheets. Drizzle the pieces in olive oil and make sure they are completely coated. Roast the pieces at 350 degrees until soft. Once cooled, remove from the oven and peel the skin and scoop the meat into a bowl. Using a hand mixer, puree the pumpkin meat till smooth. Now you have the perfect base for some yummy fall treats. From here, you can make a whole slew of things. Save in the freezer for Thanksgiving to make a fantastic homemade pie. Or don't freeze and make a warming pumpkin soup for the cold Halloween night. You can even put a spoonful into a homemade pumpkin spice latte. Once your guests hear that you made this from your jack-o'-lantern, you'll be sure to impress. Check out the description below for a few recipes we have tried and loved. Let us know how your treats turned out and if you have any pumpkin recipes you would like to share with us in the comments below. Also, be sure to subscribe to Icon for more videos like these and so much more.